Pam, pam, pam. Pam, pam, pam. <coughs> Hello guys, anyone? Anyone in the chat? I can see three people. Three people. Three people. Let me know if the music is too loud or too low, whatever. It's I think it's the first time I have music on, I can't remember. So it's, uh, yeah, let me know. And I think there's like, I'm taking requests, uh, random box for sure. You can just uh, let me know and I will do my best to, yeah, uh, I'll give you my opinion for sure. No problem. Again, with the music, let me know, is it too loud? Or can you hear it at all? I don't know. I don't know. Different filter, I need a different filter. I think there's like 30 seconds delay or so, so that's why sometimes I don't, even though, even though we have written, I don't, I don't see it until, so. Hello to the new guys. Yes, I do take requests just like random box set here in the chat. So if you have anything, let me know. API, API, yeah, I know that one. It's been a very long time since I've been looking into that stock push. So that's, uh, let's keep the, um, the high Kanashi candles on. Happy, happy. It's only 30 million. It's not a big company, but maybe uh, let's let's keep the Heiken Ashi candles on. I think they are quite interesting to to have on there. Or is it better to do like this? What do you want, Heiken Ashi candles or standard candles? I mean, it's up to you. Sometimes the Heiken Ashi gives you a better view of the trend, and maybe it's better to see on the uh, on the stream. I don't know. But definitely straight off the bat here, we had the false breakout here of API. That's not ideal. So uh, should be a bit cautious here, to be honest. Just that fake out. We had that long channel here, so. It tried to break out and clearly it couldn't. And now we're back below again. Um, but yeah, definitely. I mean, we're still making some higher highs and higher lows, but they are yeah, not the best looking. Euro PBR. Again, I don't know the company, but definitely it just needs to, to regain that. You can maybe do the daily stuff here. Let's see how it does in the daily. You can clearly see the breakout here. Attempt a lot of retesting, deep retests, and then ultimately broke down. However, there's one trend line that where I think actually that is, you know, the one to get through here, right here and now, that one right there. That is the one to, to break in the short term and then we need to get back above before we can say all right we are we're kind of bullish here again um, do we have we have one but we do I mean 
it looks like we have you know a full one to five wave down here so again i think it, it's it's doing a decent a decent job here to to break out to be honest but yeah there, there it is that's how i would frame this setup here so let's say we break to the upside and then get back above then hugely bullish uh we are kind of squeezing here not the best of the best setup but still that's how i would look at it here um just note then that, that when you have a false breakout to the upside, you can often go and visit the lower side. Again, I don't think that will happen. That's more, that's like a 60, 70% drop here. I, I don't think that's plausible, but again, you never know. But for now, it, it seems like it, it seems like a controlled movement here for the past, um, what's that, two months or so. So my take is that when you break there, you take out the gold and you take out the blue, both like the blue pendant here it should be ready to run so getting above let's call it roughly 0 0.22 i think we're good to go for for api and the easy and the good thing is to me let's say let's say we break here and we start to curl the stop loss can easily easily be placed you know somewhere below the maximum stop loss at let's call it 0 0.19 and the upside is is tremendous you can even trade this one getting it back to here to the uh to the triangle high so you're getting if you, if you want to trade it, I don't know, uh, or long term, whatever, but still, you have, let's say we en we enter there. There it is, so you, uh, what's the risk reward here? It is three. Um, again, you can also move it up below the retest, so you get a better ratio, but that means you could get stopped out. But uh, that, that's how I would play that one, API. ISVLF, ISLVF, hello, Gypsy Tree, hello. Impact, I think I've seen that a long damn time ago. Holy smokes, it got killed. You look at that resistance. Boom, boom, boom. And ever since, it has got been smoked. How did it react when we came down to here? Did it do anything? No, not really. We had a bit of a... Yeah, okay. Really, when you saw this one here, I know in hindsight everything is easy to see, right? But definitely when we got that kind of um, breakdown here, that is usually a good, a, a decent sign that this one is not going to hold. Um, again, it can be difficult. Same thing as over here, you had that head and shoulders topping pattern there, and then you broke down, and then let's see if we ran the target. Oh, well, how did it go? We can take it there to there so we came not in, not in the first go we did actually have a huge retest there but we didn't manage to get the target later on but okay okay but where are we looking at it now i do think that this move here is insanely overdone um again it's tough to say still it's only if what is it 25 million dollar company so but i still think we have an easy trend line roughly here depending on how you want to add it in and then Let's see how the lower side is. Yep, there it is. That is your channel. I do think if we add it as make it as a channel here, I think we can get some decent, some decent. Yeah, it's not too bad. It is not too bad. Something like this. Quickly drawn, by the way. So uh, it's not perfect, but still, I like it. And there it is. That's the channel. You can also see the midpoint. The splitter here is getting respected sometimes here. Um, but again, as long as we're here, inside this one here, you basically don't do anything. If you want to buy, you can buy. If we, for some reason, you know, make a huge drop here and get to the lower side, that will be a perfect buy in my view. Um, also, we have these lows over here. Maybe we can add it more like a, like a rectangle. We can do like this. That is your support and resistance zone here. So ideally, for this one to become really bullish, you know, for the next few months here, I, I want to see really getting back above. Even though this cluster here is very messy, I want to get back above the channel and that green support and resistance. And then I want to I want to see a confirmation, and then we want to go higher. That's actually what I want to see here again. It's a very messy decline, to be honest. 
even though there are still, you know, some formations here that. But again, not the best of the best. And uh, how much have it lost already? Wow, roughly 90%. Jesus smokes, that's a lot. Again, if you. I do believe that Gold and Silver will have an amazing 2024. Uh, that's been on record for quite some time. Uh, again, buying a stock like this when it's down 90%, I mean, at, at least you're not you're not FOMOing in. So, so I mean, it, it it's not all it's not a bad idea if you have the thesis that gold and silver will go higher. But again, you should be prepared to have you know more, you know more downside. Uh, but again, yeah. If you want to play it safe, I would just wait to confirm some sort of retest of that 0 0.16 level or so, give or take. Getting above the yellow channel and confirm that level that that is now support, that would give a, a actually a better risk reward entry there. Um, so that is my take on that one. PBR, I like PBR for, for sure. It's fantastic. PMR, that's incorrect. PBR, that's, there it is. Going to the weekly. Again, I only have one trade line here, more or less. And uh, let's just remove that, go away. But, but to me, this one looks, again, this is heavily related to oil. Obviously, it's, a, it's an oil company. And if we can look at oil just in, in a few minutes here. But again, we are trying to break out there from that big zone here you can even maybe squeeze it down to here makes more sense so 16 17 is a big zone to get through and uh, if i remember correctly you have the trend line coming across here which is hugely hugely important we can go to the monthly maybe that get, gives us a better view you can see here how it's interacting with that trend line and we almost we have broken out again here um, and yeah we just need to clear these wicks over here but definitely looks really good to me, this is a great hold for two years, three years time. Uh, you collect roughly 20% and uh, in dividends per year, but also the upside here to me looks uh, looks very promising. We are at 13 now, uh, excuse me, um, roughly 20, 16, 17, excuse me. Uh, again, when we clear this one here, I think we can actually go well into, into these highs, you know, within a few years time really so uh, i'm a huge fan of peel of pv i have it myself i bought it two times in the past i don't know three months or so um for the dividend portfolio and uh, i think the end the entry is decent um so yeah that's my take on it and also if you look at you can, we can look at oil here what it did today basically i this, this is a new sheet so i have no lines on it here but basically we broke the trend line here and also today we actually confirmed that breakout here of that that triangle that was formed after we broke the trend line. So I think oil here could easily um, have a have you know get into the 80s before we see any decent pullbacks here for oil. That to me is really good. And remember these are Heiken Ashi uh, Heiken Ashi candles. So a breakout on, on on this type of candle is way more valid than a standard candle because it takes in the average of the prior day. Uh, I think it is and then so so when you have a breakout it's more the average price uh, that you get but yeah PPR I like it very much uh, also posted many charts on Twitter so uh, it's a uh, I think it's a great a, a great investment also Brazil overall I like very very much um, no doubt about it uh, the chart looks absolutely fantastic for the next for this decade really looks really good Euroi let's look at Euroi Let's see where we are in time. Again, I have no lines, so I have to redo them. But anyways, looking at it straight off the bat here, to me, the downtrend is over. There it is. And you have the floor here. We did get a, some, some, a bit of a scare over here. Um, but again, clear the false breakdown and then back in retesting resume. And ever since we have just made a tiny both like here, and now we're just going higher. Um, to me, this is overall bullish no matter how you look at it uh, until proven otherwise that's my thing that i use often here you've just broken out of a bull flag uh, again you can see on the daily again we're actually having you know a tinier bull flag so hopefully this will 
hopefully it takes a bit longer and then we go higher but definitely uh, euro here looks together with the overall uranium sector looks fantastic looks fantastic um, yeah what else to mention here again I do think also that if this is wave one here usually we have five waves so wave one there wave two correction and then wave three should take us you know way into in, in, into the, the double digits if we if this is the true count right so a a, a pole flag and a pole obviously there are many resistances about uh, on the way the big one is always always when you have a triangle that gets broken the big big resistance is always that high right there um, so when we get there if we get there I would expect some sort of pullback and then we can obviously go higher no doubt but still usually when people trade this triangle here the, the, the people with the max greed or the longer term holds for that trade e exits there so so but again overall I uh, I like the chart here again bull flag tiny bull flag in the making higher highs higher lows I mean just you can even add in a a uh, moving average a 30 weekly moving average simple there we can just add it in just to to see the trend even though we know it's up we want to make it yellow by the way my uh, oh, never mind there it is so you can see here again oops excuse me how about the music is can you hear it is it too high too low let, uh, I haven't heard any complaints so I guess I guess it's fine otherwise let me know so this is the 30 weekly and if we were to both like here while this coming up that's just an amazing entry that's I would give it like an 80 percent chance of blasting higher with the trend there so a bit uh, it is very stretchy uh, stretched here come to the 30 weekly so maybe you need some time to rest here for the next few weeks and then uh, uh hello eli monsieur i think that's i butchered that one i'm sorry bp uh is that oil or what is it well wow, holy shit that's a big company that, that must be oil right yeah pays a dividend eight percent wow okay okay i might add this one here thank you i will add this one to my um Go to the weekly, but anyways, it's yeah, it's funny, right? The COVID lows, boop, right at the previous high there, beautiful. A uh, bit of a, it's definitely in a weekly downtrend as we speak. Uh, the reason why I'm saying that is the uptrend, high highs and higher lows, and then you start to see the lower highs and lower lows. Um, So yeah, the daily might be good. Yeah, exactly. The daily seems okay. I'm just trying to see if I can find any. It's not my favorite type of setup here, to be honest. Um, I'm just seeing if there is anything that makes sense here. Then we go pretty deep. That does make sense. If all is about to go here, this might be. What I'm looking at here is, is we have this kind of rounding to the downside. That's I'm always a bit uh, I wouldn't say worried, but I'm confused when I see these kind of you know rounding formations there. I don't I know exactly what to do with them. So um, yeah, but we we really want to see do we have a horizontal level that we can use? Maybe we have something here. I think it would be ideal if it can hold this kind of Sony is it's not perfect but there's definitely some interactions here so hopefully it can hold here um, but to me I don't see any great setups that is for sure maybe you uh, we have one trend line here that's pretty pretty good actually to be honest um, again if we start to see it here let's go to the daily maybe we can do some some timing here so if we can get back above Let's call it 100 and 180, 180 maybe, and then we can uh, 
or do something like this. Yep, that's perfect. That's perfect. You can see it there. And now we're just actually testing it here. Are we above? Uh, no, not really. But I think if we can get back in that blue formation, and then maybe just, just hold it, then that's a very good sign. That's all I can say. So getting back above and stay there for like a few days. Um, again, we still have pressure from the weeklies coming down. So, but again, message chart. I don't know how to trade these. I don't. That's not my what I do really. So, okay. Uh, anyone else? Anyone? I hope that's okay, Eli. That's just my take here. Uh, that could be some sort of weird bull flag here with a scare false breakdown. But a bit weird. Glencore, sure. Glencore. Let's see. Yeah, it looks a bit. Looks a bit sketchy. Glencore, that is uh, metal, metal energy, agriculture. Okay, that's a lot of stuff going on there. Holy smokes! Okay, um, it looks a bit scary here. I will say. You can see there, we are actually breaking down here. So that is a bit of a warning if you have it here. It looks it looked quite good to be honest here with that you know huge move up and now we're just breaking down here. Not ideal that is for sure. Uh, so I, so I will just have one one trend line here, and we need to regain this one as quick as possible, and then we need to get back above here something like this. That's how I would frame it there, roughly here. Um, depending on how you can add it there, like that. Something like this. Yep. There it is. Uh, this doesn't look good at all right now. Uh, I can see the post market we are actually back in, but still, we want this to be a false breakdown here. If it is, then suddenly it looks fantastic, right? But for now, we have to. You have to uh, like gap down. Okay, fair enough. Um, it has to get back in and then hold it and then show some strength right there. Um, there are news. What's that? I don't know, nothing, okay. Just yeah, a bit of a warning here in my view. Uh, again, if it's, look for that false breakdown and then you can actually get a pre pretty decent entry with a tight stop loss. Um, uh, boom, boom, boom. What else do we have for you guys? And thank you for tuning in, by the way. And all the questions, I like it. I'll try to, to get through them here within the next half an hour, 40, 40 minutes or so. I will see what I can do. Solaris, I've seen that before. Uh, is that resources? Yeah, in cover. Okay, what is that? Hmm, okay. It clearly, well, my view here, that was the big moment in time, right there, you know, the breakdown. And we couldn't hold it, you know, when we got back into the, to the wedge, we couldn't hold it, and then we rolled over. Um, not the best looking, clearly clearly in a downtrend, no doubt about it here. Do we have, no we don't, okay. Um, so definitely, it shouldn't have your interest at the moment. Uh, if you get some sort of huge spike, what's, what, what do they do, is that uh, development project, blah, 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 I don't know. I don't know what sector it is, is it gold, minerals, properties, I don't know. Um, it shouldn't have your interest right now here. Uh, if we get some sort of huge drop there, that could be the end of move kind of, you know, and if you want to try to buy that, you can buy into it, but definitely, I think it needs it needs more clearance here, in my view. It's uh, also this stuff here, you don't, you cannot make any formations from a move like this, right? So, yeah, weird, but again, this one should be the warning again, and now we're rolling over again, the weekly, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. So until that changes and we get about the 30 weekly, it shouldn't be any, it shouldn't be on your radar unless you have a different strategy. I don't know. Of Scots, you, uranium, you, you uh, last week, uh, big name for bull. Uh, 400 days left of this bull run. Mm, Maureen, that's a big question. Um, again, I, I don't know how long it will last. Uh, I'm, I'm, I think I will use the ratios to somehow try to time my exit from uranium as, as, as good as possible. Again, I will not hit the top by any means, but I'll, when I think it's overdone, and uh, then I will exit 
about 400 days left. That means we get into 2025, summer, no, not summer, spring. Maybe, I don't know. Mm. But again, a good indicator is always when you have the very small companies that basically has nothing to do with uranium other than a name. When they start to to move vertical, I mean, then you should you should exit. PLG, Gypsy Tree once again here. Let's see. Uh, again here, uh, yeah, I have a pretty one. It's it's a one liner chart in my view. There it is. <laughs> That's all I can say. A one liner chart right there. Um, so again, we need to we need we need to basically break that downtrend and get above. You know. 1.20 um, but again nothing quite simply that's the the only trend line you need basically you also see here you're coming into the lows here I want to connect them somewhat like this so again if you want to buy try and buy low you can always buy that you know roughly 0 0.887 give or take um, if you want to be sure you can wait for the breakout and some you know horizontal level breakout confirmation and then uh, it should be ready to go but it, this is still in a downtrend again low lows lower highs nothing nothing new but again you can see whenever we get down here buying here is not i would much rather buy a stock like this than any stock that you know is just um, it's very overvalued and people are just FOMOing and you know the FOMO kind of last move stuff here. I would much rather buy a stock here. Uh, again, the contrarian view. Uh, but again, I would also not just, I, I wouldn't buy it blindly. I would still wait for some sort of confirmation uh, or the breakout, whatever. I mean, I wouldn't just buy it here because you have no idea what's going to happen. So it's better to to wait and have, your, have, have a plan. If this happens, I do this. If that happens, I will do X, Y, Z. But I think this will move, I think Platinum and Palladium, most, but, but Platinum needs to really get a good base above the 1K mark, uh, maybe 1, 150, 1, 1050 then. Uh, CR, uh, CR crew, crew Energy. Let's see. And thank you for the question again, random box. What's that? Is that... Crude oil, natural gas, okay, okay, okay. Okay. I would do something like this, to be honest, there it is. So again, in my view, this is always bullish, you know, a nice move up and sideways action, it's always good. It's always good. You don't want to have a massive move up and then a huge move down and then you start to make a bear flag. That's a very bad indicator. Uh, so, the chart is really, it's really decent. You also have the golden trend line here, breakout. There it is. Again, I wouldn't buy a breakout uh, after we came all the way down from 0 0.14, and we and then we came into to 3.6, and then buy that breakout. I would, I, I think it, it was overdone at that point in time. Clearly, it went on, you know, to, to double from there. But again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy a breakout like that. That's not mine. But anyways, I still think you know that look for some sort of formation here. Um, uh, again, if we come up and have a third touch, that could be also an entry. But definitely this uh, 4.2, it's funny, 4.2 or 4.20 is just a level that is so important on more on, on many charts. If you look at it, you see it very often, 4.20. Uh, I know the, the number 4.20 or 42 is a big, and uh, it's an important number in physics and so on, but just that 4.20. There's also a uranium chart that gets really bullish above 420, so that's that's amazing, really. Uh, but something like this, I would just see here again. Uh, again, if we for some reason get all the way down here, that's a huge buy, getting down to 2.10, roughly huge buy in my view. That big retest of that gold trend line. Again, have a plan. If it happens, you will buy. Uh, that's you have done all the work by doing the analysis, and again, you you maybe have. Three different scenarios. If we get down to here, I will buy. Um, if we have, you know, the breakout, I will buy the breakout. Or if I get a third touch there, I might buy here and have obviously a stop below, and then we can maybe go higher. But for now, this is this is a bullish setup for this stock here. Um, 
But the thing is, if you start to get down here, you should be very worried that you would actually have quite a... There's a lot of room to run here, 420 down to 2, roughly 210. So uh, you do also have a bit of a horizontal right there. There's some support there, but, but yeah. But I think it's good that you have a stock that has moved many thousand percents and you're just going sideways. That's always, always a good sign. Again, nothing is certain, but I like it. I like it. Uh, Devon, DVN. Uh, from Clifton, uh, I'll energy. I think it's energy correction. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. 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 Let's see where we will add with this one here. Okay. I really fancy this chart. As you know, if you if you have seen what I, if you have been following me for at least if, you know for some time, you know that every time we get a breakout of a what I call a golden trend line, right here, this is what defines you know the big ceiling. And you have a breakout and you have some sort of bullish sideways to down consolidation into the retest. I love buying a retest like this. Um, again, also, I want to show you here. I actually really fancy this chart, so this is quite quite nice. You also have one, two. If you get down to here, you will have a third low, spike lower low. That's usually a very good entry. Very, very good. And then you have the top of the wedge right here. There it is. I actually, this is this is actually quite nice. I will add this one to my energy list right there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's nice. That's really good. Again, here with with the three spikes low, right? So again, this is basically an Elliott wave, one to five Elliott wave count. So yeah, and I would see this as one, two, three, four, and then you might have a. A last move here. How high can you go? I think, yeah, yeah I think you could go to the all time highs. Something like that. That could be. That could be it. But early waves, again, it's not my thing. So, <laughs> random box, I just saw your post there. <laughs> 420 is the American policy code, for, uh, police code for marijuana. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. I love it. I like this. That breakout, you know, slowly pen it down into the retest when what do we do here again i think we buy if we get down to the retest or if we don't get there we buy the breakout um, um uh, maybe not buy the breakout maybe you need a bit more time sideways there but still the big number one option buy the damn retest at roughly 38 again my opinion you do uh, as you may again stops should obviously be placed in a proper in a proper but again i think this this move here is starting to get a bit overdone. Um, but stop losses is very important, very, very important. Uh, you don't want to, even though you think it will go higher, you don't want to have like two years worth of, you know, just sitting in pain from like 42, again, for, you see, 42, God damn it. no. But anyway, it's going down, you know, to let's say, I don't know how low we can go here. Maybe we have a, maybe we could go down here. I don't know. Uh, yeah, makes sense like that. Let's say we go to all the way down to here. To below 30 and you, you don't want to sit in this one for like a year uh, it's better to just get out and then you can always re-enter if you're missing you know five percent whatever it doesn't matter you don't want to be a back, a back holder it's it's not good for your mind or your your health uh, trust me i've learned it the hard way uh, but not the hard way but i usually always thought that i was right clearly i wasn't right um plg is actually one of those examples um so yeah but you learn, that's the important thing. You, you need to learn from your mistakes, so. Uh, Lucas, hello. Thinking of making another entry for URNJ. Uh, URNJ is a bit more difficult compared to URA and URNM in my view to, to look at. But again, if, if URNM and URA starts to move here, again, obviously URNJ will go higher. Uh, but let's let's look at URNJ. URNJ, URNJ. Uh, maybe we need the, the daily for this one here. Again, this is some old stuff here, but again, it actually still holds true. There are some trend lines on here that we haven't had on for for some time here. There is one, and let's make it golden. There it is. We also have, remember that's one here, it's in, an internal one. Yep, there it is. Make it smaller, dot it, there it is. 
Um, but again, looking at it here, I usually I'm not a fan of having these flags here and then break to the upside. I'm always a bit scared, you know, that we have a false breakout. I would much rather prefer, you know, a standard flag. Again, that's just preference. M many people like these. They have a good plan for those. I, I do not, to be honest. But again, it, it still looks quite all right here. We can go to the, the one hourly, I think. That would be better. So you can, you can see what's happening now is that we're basically testing that that up sloping flag here from above two times now. Um, so we need to get things things going here uh, very quickly. Otherwise, we, we could see more downside. Um, but again, I still, I still think that the move down here is somewhat controlled. Um, and by controlled, meaning it do, it's not a, you know, a snapback. It's just a slow grind within some sort of, you know, bull flag or an ABC correction. So I think it, it, it's still okay. I think more reasonable, we should go to the URNM. I think that should be your benchmark for and this is what I mean by a controlled pullback. I want to show you again very quickly. Add it there, okay. And then also we have roughly this one right there. So again, we have broken out. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Again, exactly. And if you break out and you have, you know, if you undo all this stuff here in like two candles, boom, boom, all the way down. Let's say we do like this. The momentum is suddenly very strong. Uh, and usually, of course, the retest can hold, but more often, I wouldn't say more often than not, but definitely the short term momentum here is often a fake out and then you roll over and then you should be very scared. But to me for now, at least you can see here, it's very controlled, very controlled, uh, down sloping. Um, blue channel right there. So to me, I'm, I'm not afraid by any means at the moment. If we just slide here, very often you just go to the upside right there. Uh, this is just, you know, all the momentum chasers here needs to get needs to get uh, get out of the trade. And then when you have reset it all, usually by the retest of the of the highs or the previous breakout, then that's usually when you start to see it curl back up again. So I'm, I'm still I'm still all good with uranium here. No 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 biggie. So we will see what happens when we when and if we get da get down to that uh, 51.7 high. Um, also, I will note that we have actually, yes, we have closed the gap here. There it is. Again, that could be as long as we go. You know, we, we won't go further. But again, I would like to have the retest of the highs, the 2021 highs, the retest here. I would prefer that. Just to confirm the breakout 100% and then we can do whatever we need to do. Um, so yeah, anything else to add here? No, I have some weird old lines here. I don't know for some reason I have that. Um, you know the take here. That was the big play, and we turned very bullish. You know, late late summer 2023, very bullish, and uh, it was first until here two weeks, three weeks ago, when people or Twitter got you know insanely hyped. But again. It has already run, what, 50%, so, beautiful. And again, I also think it helps if if we have oil here starts to get into the 80s. Um, that's also a big help for uranium, obviously, because they're both related to energy. So, um, I like that. Still a bit early here, but definitely some good signs here, short term, for oil. For good old oil, okay. Brandon Bruce, wow, thank you for that. Uh, what's it called? The super five dollars. Th thank you very very much. I'm highly appreciated. Actually, that's uh, it means a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I just lost the one second here. I just lost my chat. No, where did it go? Uh, one second here. Where did it go? One second, guys. I just somehow minimized the chat. That wasn't. That wasn't ideal. I just. How the hell do I do that? 
Can I swear? No? Can I swear? I don't know. This is not good, guys. I have... Where the bloody hell? Where did it go? Where did it go? Okay, I think I'll do something different. I will do something different, I think. I need to go here, and then I need to, can I see this? Then I need to do like this. I'm just watching my own beautiful stream, and then we do like this. But thank you, Brandon. Highly appreciated, very, very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's just, you didn't have to do that, but again, thank you very much. Can't hear any music. Okay, let's just shut it down. For some reason, it doesn't work. I don't know. Weird. Um, I hope that's okay, Lucas. Uh, again, I'm, I'm still very bullish on uranium. I need to see a lot more technical damage before I'm getting, you know, a bit of a short-term half-year worried. Half-year might be long, but three months. But anyways, still looks really good to me. To me, it does. Um, Jimmy Butler here. M-P-L-X. M-P-L-X. I don't... I have no idea what it is, to be honest, so... Oil company with nice dividend. Okay, I, I like it. I like it. Yeah. Nine percent. Okay. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be a buyer here. I wouldn't. If I had a good position, I wouldn't sell. But I would not be a buyer for for, for one reason only. We're coming into some stiff, stiff resistance right here. If you can see that. Let's go to the Heiken Ashi monthly. It's a long chart. So now let's stay in the weekly. Let's stay on the weekly. You can see here, just getting into that, what is that? Let's call it 40. I think you will see some resistance there. We are at 37 now into the 40s there. Um, again, buying into a move like this, that's not how I do it uh, by any means. Um, if we get up to the 40s and we, for some reason, get some sort of both like below or some sort of, there's no big retraces here, but anyways, uh, if we have to correct and then get back about 40, then I'm very interested. But for now, I th think the juice is not there, even though the dividends is good. Um, I wouldn't enter at any, by any means right here, right now. Um, maybe there was a tiny entry somewhere around here, but then again, it's just, uh, maybe there were. But again, if you have a position, please, by all means, collect the dividends and expect, you know, a bit of a, a possibility of a bump down at the $40 uh, level, in my view. Um, but again, it, it, when and if we clear that, you know, we can easily go way higher for this one here. Again, if oil goes higher as well, that will also be <clears throat> a tailwind. Uh, Gypsy tree Mara. Ah, well, Mara, Mara. I actually think, you know, my good friend Borak did a fantastic trade on that stock, um, if I remember correctly. So I think that's a false breakout. Uh, no, it's too low and doesn't make any sense. Okay. Uh, I think we have, right there let's make it blue for a neckline and this is what i'm seeing here uh, we're getting below the neckline again not ideal however the 30 weekly is still coming up and you could still be making higher highs and higher lows here so i wouldn't rule it out but if this head and shoulders are to come into into play again getting above the neckline you can have a decent size upside right there still uh, but ideally, when you have a breakout of a neckline, you have the pits there, you have the breakout, you want to have it to hold the neckline there. Um, because w if, if you get back below, in theory, this inverted head and shoulders has been negated. Um, I know many people are, some people are very strict, so you know, when it breaks, it's over. But I, I, I like to see it still as you can 
still get back above and then uh, you need to you need to do it somewhat quickly though and then you can still run the target but definitely you want to see that level hold uh, but again we are still in an uptrend uh, for now so uh, anything else we can see or we can see from this chart here in the long short long term Uh, just notice, you know, this looks like it could be some sort of, again, we could easily, uh, it didn't connect here, but you know, you know what I'm trying to show you. Um, again, the downtrend, and then we're breaking here, so. Uh, so this is a bit of what I mean when you have a massive move up, you're going down hugely, and then you bear flag. And then you come into the retest, and then the momentum is very strong, and you often it doesn't hold. You would much rather have, you know, that controlled, that controlled kind of move in, and then you go higher. Um, does it look like some sort of what happened there? Why did it just suddenly? I don't know. Maybe some news. I don't know. But again, there's no entry for for my my taste here. Um, ideally, again, the retest here should by all means be bought. But again, you need you need to have the stops below uh, because it will probably do some sort of retest here, and then we will see what happens. Again, there, I, I love the when the chart respects very important lines. So the retesting. So if, I will. I still think we can go back here, retest the nineteen dollar level, and then we will see what happens right here. Um, Uh, case to Loma. I can I can assure you I haven't seen that before. <laughs> uh, case to Loma. I don't know if I can find it really. On Argentina. Case to Loma. I don't think I can find this one. Case. Uh, did I misspell it? I misspelled it. Oh, maybe. Okay. I don't know. I don't think I. I don't think I can find that one. Sorry, uh, John Marsh. F W C F F W C. Is that whatever? Oh, that's a messy, messy chart right here. Uh, okay, I have already seen what I need to see. Um, bit of history here again. Coming back to here. What you can see here, the breakout, and then you have that coiling into the retesting, beautiful breakout. A very big warning here, in my view, is this bear flag. Huge move down. You can also note again, one, two, three, four, five, Elliott wave count. And now we're in a, bull, uh, a bear flag right here. Something like that. That is not the prettiest look of them all, really. Right there. That is not that's not the best. Um, so this is a, in my view a warning here that actually we could have a a further leg down here for this stock. What is the what is this? Uh, I can't see it, but anyways. Again, there's if it starts to crack down here, we can see if we will hit that trend line there. Oh. That is perfection. I th that is actually perfection. In my view, again, my honest opinion, if we get that full move of the bear flag down to there, I mean, yep, you know what to do, I guess. That's really good. That's really, really good. Perfect measured move into a massive support. I like that very much. Very, very much. But again, that means that we could go from 1.11 down to 0.7. Yikes. Again, I don't know if that will happen, but the plan should be to buy that big, that test or that move into that support. And it is also a perfect 100% measured move from this pole, bear flag pole. So, beautiful. Power metal. Power metal on, I assume it's this one, yeah it is. Oh, that's messy as I cannot swear. I would say simply 
we need to get above there before any you can see it's trying here really getting above, getting above that 0 0.9 until we get above here in my view it's no no bueno but it's definitely i think it will break above there to be honest but again give it time and again so getting above and and stay there again it doesn't matter if you miss something you can buy the break obviously but where would you place the stop here down here no that doesn't make any sense so i would see the break and then hopefully a confirmed retest uh, that's just my take if we had a scenario where it would start to how can i draw this instead of going so deep if it did like that you know like a bull flag below or just coiling here then it will buy the break more easily because the stop is a bit more clear uh, you don't want to go from 0 0.9 down to 0 0.6 um, that's just my opinion um, do we have a channel there i do think we have a channel here if i if my eyes are eh, almost to perfection almost to perfection i like it when they are perfect so it, it actually annoys me that we didn't quite get the move all the way down there that's i don't know that's just me we came, came down to 0 0.5 and it would have been perfect if we went down to 0 0.48 uh, um, yeah it's just me i guess that's just me small company yeah very small very small again with these small companies it's even more important to have stop losses because they can wreck you very quickly in a week or two so uh tnr gold tnr gold let's see what we have here monthly chart okay i guess this is the one no I will I will use this one here on a monthly. You want to see the monthly? Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Again here one. Oh, again here one. How the hell? One, two, three spikes. That's good to see. And what, in my view, what you should be looking at is something like this, very quickly drawn, not perfect here, and then you have the lower coming in there. So th this is a pattern with a triangle with a flat top and a rising bottom. Usually, these breaks to the upside roughly 70% of the time. That's my estimate, and 30% to the downside, obviously. So yeah, that's how I would look at it here. Maybe you could you could change it a bit if you're into that, and you could do like this. Again, so it's almost a flat top, and uh, but again. The trade is the same, really. You need to get above here that high, so roughly 0 0.075. Uh, but again, this is a very small, yeah, 10 million. Again, you can't. It's very difficult to place a stop here. If let's say we break here, and usually you want to have a stop below the previous low before the break. That's at least often how I do it. But again, you can see here this: the break is at 0 0.075, and the stop would be below 0 0.0. Uh, yeah, so roughly that 33% below. But again, that's the name of the game with with a nano cap or a micro here. Again, the, the upside is also very good. We, we can actually do the measured move. How high do we think we, this could go? I would do something quickly like this. And then depending on which one you would add it to or, or on the break. But let's make it conservative. Uh, if we were to get a full move here. Nah, maybe that's a bit too aggressive here. Do we have any good levels? Maybe I would do... Maybe I would do something like this very quickly here, like that instead. I think that's a, a big enough resistance that when we get there, I think that we should see some pullbacks. We can add in a long here. Let's see if the trade makes sense. So we're getting long there, and then we're getting stopped out somewhere around here. So we have a three to one ratio. Yeah. One other thing you could do, if you want to play it a bit more the risk reward is better if we get down to here you can buy right and you will have a stop somewhere let's say around there maybe again you have a higher risk of you know falling falling through here but the risk reward is, is somewhat better uh, again you can play it differently 
But the big takeaway is to always have a stop loss, even though it's placed incorrectly. I place them incorrectly all the time as well. But you need to protect yourself because you're you're not wrong. You're not correct all the time. That's just my, my take. Um, good. Let's see here. We have Quit Pro. I will do. I, I need to do Quit Pro if I remember pronounce it correctly because I've seen him on Twitter many times. Um, NRP. What's that? That is Natural Resources. I think it's this one. I guess it is. Let's see. Okay, straight off the bat, should you be a buyer here? Absolutely not. I mean, my honest opinion, nope. Way too stretched for my take. Um, but what could we? What could be? What could we see here again? I think there's still some. There should be some more room to run here, like thirty percent. Um, but again, it's very stretched, so the moves can be valid. But definitely, the next big resistance is here, uh, no doubt. Um, but again, yeah, what a run, Jesus, that's insane. That's just insane. But again, how how would you play this one here? Could you? It's very difficult to get in. At least the way I enter stuff here. Maybe the only entry I would see, I would get based on what I do, is something like up here. That's that's maybe where I would get in. I don't see any big, maybe something here, but again, not that's not how I usually set it up. Uh, yeah, difficult. Again, with the stop loss here, again, you can see it right there. Once it broke that one, that's just game over. Game over very often. Again, have a stop loss. I kind of say it's so important to have a stop loss. Again, even though if it isn't placed the perfect place or whatever, it's just so important. Again, we could buy here. If we think it goes up to there, fine. But again, if we're wrong, where the where to place the stop loss, really? You need to, I don't know, place it below here, maybe? And then you have a a one-to-one a -one trade, more or less. Or you want to go down here, because but then you're in the negative. So again... If you want to trade this, just wait for these pullbacks, and then maybe you can get the last move higher. Uh, but again, that's not how I—that's not how I do it. Uh, I know many people do, and they are very good at it. Uh, maybe I should learn it or be a bit more convenient. But again, I don't know. Link, Gypsy Tree, Chainlink. Oh, okay. I know the chart. I know the chart. I know it. I actually had a set up here for the downside on this stock here on this but it's not a stock but you know what i mean there it is what i actually saw was a inverted cotton handle but clearly that was negated i even posted it and also here i was very excited but uh, clearly that was not a uh, a breakdown there maybe this could be some sort of accumulation maybe but again a big move up here and now we have sideways action so if it goes sideways here while you're having the 30 weekly coming up here that's usually a move higher usually obviously um, yeah let's go the daily does it give us any better uh, well, it's not the prettiest of them all, that's for sure. We have something like a expanding formation right there. Not to say that, that it is oops, that it is not bullish, but again, they're they're a bit more difficult to to play in my view. But again, thirty weekly coming up, and we are a sideways price action after a huge move, and that's always something to be very 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 interested into. Oh, IPI. Let's see that one. Random box. Let's check it out. That's uh, the potash kind of thing, right? Yeah, magnesium. Yeah, yeah, okay, 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 okay. Okay. Not the 
prettiest of them all to be honest i'm just trying to see if it, anything makes sense here do we have a room okay maybe we have yeah yeah yes 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 okay now i like it again you know the golden trend line i use it very often to just to define i don't know how to explain it that's just my comfort zone when I have this on when this when I have a golden trend line that is very well defined I'm usually more safe or secure in, in what I'm trying to look at here and in this case we are trying to hold the big retest that's a massive holy smokes how long how far did we go ah, 90% okay that must hurt um, we're still making a little bit of a higher low there maybe Maybe, 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 maybe. It's not, it's not the most sexy setup, or the sexy move down here, but uh, definitely want to watch in my view. I think within, I think this could become very interested within the next, I don't know, quarter or so, maybe a bit more, depending on how it results here. Um, very interesting actually i will actually add it as well i'll just put it into energy for now um this is kind of like not not quite the same but what oil has does here the only thing oil had was a more well-defined down sloping line here where they touched and then they but other than that okay but that's quite sexy the touch there from that it goes back to what 15 years that's very good. That's uh, promising, for sure. Nice. Thank you for that one, Brandon. I like it. Again, Brandon, I just saw. I came to your comment again here. Thank you for the five dollars. Amazing. Thank you very much. I mean, highly appreciate it. Highly, highly appreciate it. Eli again. NTR. Did didn't we do that? Or is it just my memory that is very bad? No, we didn't. Nutrient. Okay. 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 Again, the the first thing I'm looking at on more or less every chart is I want to look for that golden trend line, and it is very, very, very clear here. Maybe you need to add it up to here, there a bit, maybe. But roughly in this zone here, you have the golden trend line. Also, I will say this: we do have. If that is some sort of we don't know the, the the length of the wave five here, but definitely I will say I will say um, watch it here and see how it acts and uh, how it acts. Excuse me, but definitely I think we are closer to the bottom here than the top. Again, it will get confirmed if we get back above, um, but definitely this one. I think the entry will take at least half a year before we can say that we have broken the downtrend. Yes, we can break out here, but there will be some some pullbacks after the breakout. So I, I think within half a year, I think there could be some great entry in this stock here. Um, for sure. But it's all also down, I don't know how much. Yeah, 50, 50, okay, Jesus. Do we have any horizon? I wanna show you here as well. You need to play with the stop loss. That is why you need to you need to play with that stop loss. Breakdown, retest, goodbye. Um, do we have any horizontal lines here? Um, not really. But what a move! Holy bananas! That's beautiful. Wow. Um, this. Um, trying to see if we can find any yeah, definitely look forward here what happens here for the next quarter maybe two quarters um, it could get really interested when we get into March April maybe a bit before but uh, but yeah nice one Random box GLDK. I have seen uh, I have seen his super chat again. It's uh, again. 
amazing. Thank you very, very, very much. Uh, GLDK, GLDG, excuse me, Gold Mining Inc. Oh, that's called up as a. Okay. Again, you have it there. Not perfection, but still. I don't know why, but it, it, it annoys me that it doesn't align up perfectly. I don't know. It's, it, that's just me, I guess. Eh, but still very valid. Um, uh, is my chat broken here? Or is it just me? I've, is it broken? No. Can you please try to type something in the chat because I don't think it's updating here at my side. That's pretty annoying because I'm using the YouTube right now. That's very... Please do just type one or something. I don't, I don't care. Something. I don't know. actually had a smaller a smaller internal squeeze right here not the perfect bottom but the top is very very well defined here um, is it a big company oh, 140. one okay it okay it works fine thank you thank you it, it does work I just thought for some reason it didn't so um, Mm, boom, boom, boom. It's not the most pretty of them all, but definitely that was beautiful. Uh, I like the move up here, but also the drop down is just, ah, uh, man. Um, it's not the prettiest of them all. Do we have a channel there? Yeah, I will say so. That makes sense. I think this is your, how I would frame it here. We have a lot of stuff going on here, but that's not important. We have a tiny squeeze, which broke to the upside. That's always a good sign. The pullback here is a bit deep to my taste. Um, going back up there again, okay. But again, this is the main channel, the one right there. So in theory, everything in there is just noise. If you, for some reason, have a huge move, a collapse down here, down to roughly 150. Again, I, I think that should be seen as a, as the last touch, more or less, in that channel. But again, it's a bit messy, to be honest. The symmetry is not good for me. But again, this channel here is insanely well-defined. And uh, yeah, well, also look at that squeeze right there. Wow, beautiful. Okay. You can see it is very much well defined actually. So you can buy the lower side or you can buy the breakout. That's two options you have in my view. And again, if gold does what I think it will, cool. Very good. Okay, let's see. We will do, I think, five minutes more. Then we have covered some great charts and. Uh, EXK. I know that one. I know that one. I know Endeavor. But it's been a while since I've been looking at it. Oh my god, it's just been wrecked. Okay, we will do some extremes here, for sure. Again, have a plan. Do we think that it could go all the way down to there? Maybe. Who knows? If it does, huge buying opportunity. I mean, what, what more do you want, really? Um, do we get there? I have no idea. I don't think so. But if it does... You should have a plan. I will say this also: we are very stretched at the moment, uh, and it's, it has just gone, you know, down for like ever. Um, maybe it's there, but anyways, also uh, not not the perfect one. Uh, can we find anything here? I want to see if it adds up to there. Okay, <laughs> that's not the prettiest. You can see here it didn't hold. That golden trend line right there. How does it look on the 
on the daily here what happened there okay so we broke down retested it here and now we're coming rolling over again okay I will say this though okay I'll, maybe I will do that one to there yep false breakout good bit of a false breakout here you can see it got confirmed there again so that this blue line is very valid in my book let's see how it acts can we actually copy it no not perfectly not perfectly. So again, that low to there. Let's see, there it is. It, yeah, it doesn't make any. It's very weird, but still, it's, it it is valid. I, I always prefer to have a a bull flag or a bottom side that goes in like that. The expanding ones uh, is a bit meh, but I think again, if we get down to here, then that's. Uh, it should be valid. We have one, two, three, four touches more or less. So it is still okay. Messy chart, but again, I, I'm very confident that we are way close to the bottom here than the, than the top for this stock. Um, you can also see here ever since July, it has basically just gone, gone down. Um, but the first thing if we can regain that golden trend line right here and the golden one is the top from 2011 16 then you have breakout here retesting of golden trend line and now we're coming in again we actually held here quite a bit and then we went lower um, if we can get back above that's ideal that's actually very important to to get back above that bullish um, so flip it now it's resistance we want to we want to flip it as support um, do we have anything coming from the oh, excuse me do we have anything coming from the lower side maybe we have the, the co if we leave out the covid madness there maybe we have a bottom there yeah okay is that a gap no do we have a gap over here We actually do again gaps. Peep, some people say they they don't care, and some say it's very very important to have every single gap closed. Let's see how it aligns up here. Let's make it red just to so we can see the difference. We have a gap right here. Okay. Okay. I think together with the gap, maybe if we get down to the green one here at 150, that could actually be the final move down. Um, Again, these it's very difficult to catch, you know, a, a a falling knife. But again, how low can it go, really? Again, with the gold and silver, I think it will do. That will do very good. So, um, so yeah, message chart very difficult. I think there are better ones. But again, buying here, in my view, again, I think where gold, where gold and silver will go in twenty twenty four and also twenty twenty five. I mean, buying a gold stock after it has dropped eighty percent. I mean, at least you're not fumbling in, right? So, like the people up here, you can see they're clear, rising wedge right there. Game over. So, I would much rather buy down here than in into a rising wedge like this, which most people do, by the way. So, let's take the last question. I think. Do we have anyone who hasn't? Uh, Hecla, should we do Hecla last? Um, we can do Luma. I have no idea what Luma is, so I will. I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued. Is it on the um, this one? It said Argentina. We will do it. Oh, that's messing. What is it? Is it ag uh, agriculture? What is it? Uh, cement. Okay, cement. Again, if we have that recession that everyone is talking about cement might not be the best but again the chart is pretty damn well defined there it is for you that's how that's how i would look at it that's how i'd look at it one two three four five it looks complete the wave looks complete one two three four excuse me go away ah <laughs> I'm getting tired. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe you can count as a six, but again, it is actually one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. 
Anyways, the triangle is insanely well defined. And what I like about it is more or less the perfection of the wicks into that triangle. Beautiful. So in my view, if you can get a break, that's really good. Note that we have a gap here. That's always, not always, very often when you get, when you complete the gap or you close it, that's when you see some selling. You can see the same thing over here. Obviously that gap down here, you have no, you cannot do anything on the gap down, obviously, but uh, I don't know if it, it could have been a split. So I don't know. How long did, what did we go down from? 12 down to, no, it's not a split, I don't think. But anyways, focus on that triangle right there and do what you, what you have to do if you want to get in. Um, but again, recession or not, yeah, we will do Hecla last for Gypsy, Gypsy Tree. There it is. Okay, last, last, the absolute last. Oh, I have something here. What the hell? Let's get a. Get. It goes. Yeah, I think this is a one-liner chart, really. I like them, actually. Uh, we can do L L H X quickly also, because this is very quickly. I think this is this is what I call a one-liner chart. And uh, what basically that is, um, is more or less something in this vicinity right here, roughly like that. Uh, then you can, I think it, it will need a copy. So we have a rail, yeah, something like this. Heck no. Okay. Okay, so I think we just need to get adjust. That's a big word for this one here. It goes back like a billion years. So, but again, we want to get above this golden rail right here. We did actually try to fit, break out here in, in 2021, but clearly couldn't. And then we see here what's happening here, messy all over. It's very difficult to see the weekly. I'm just trying to see if there's anything that makes sense. We at least have a very important level coming across here. So 3.55 or 3.5 is very important. Um, I'm just playing with the levels here. There you have an inverted head and, sh you have a head and shoulders. Did we reach that target? Uh, oops, there it is. Yep, so you can actually see that, again, it has nothing to, nothing to do with the overall view. That head and shoulders, the target was met to perfection. Retesting. So again, I would say the first step will be to get above the, the head shoulder retest pivots right there. That is the, the first short term kind of kind of view that I have. Again, head, shoulder, retest, perfectly connected. That is what that is what we need to take out here, in my view, before any bullish. I wouldn't even call it bullish, but that's just a step one. Uh, the, the, uh, yeah. But man, it's, it's funny, this big company, 2.5 billion, and it just has basically gone, gone sideways for 20 years. Even, I mean, that's just amazing. Yeah, amazing. Difficult job to do. I think there are better plays. Uh, I would just wait to that big break, in my honest opinion, unless you get something very clean, like you get the breakout and you just have a very tight bull flag or a, a setup that is insanely well-defined where you can place your stop below and you can actually make a huge run with a great risk reward. Um, but again, I think there are way better plays in my view. Last one, Rose Bucket L H X. Is it this one? I guess. I, I, I hope. The weekly. Wow, it has come. Holy smokes, we need to go to the monthly. Wow. Again, would I be a buyer here? Absolutely not. Uh, but let's see how this is adding up. And then you have that angle there. Okay. Okay. 
I'm just drawing here. I think for the first time, if I'm looking back again, this, I want to draw it actually makes better sense. Makes better. that one there, you know, bullish consolidation. Yes, we had that huge dip in 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 the 90 uh, in yeah, just, just what is that the 90s? Yeah. And then again, somewhat bullish, bullish. And now we have the first kind of topping pattern here. Again, it's not confirmed. But definitely, this is the first time how I see it actually on a monthly chart that we have a bigger overall, maybe topping pattern here for this stock. I'm not saying that it is. But again, if you look at it, I think that should be somewhat clear that to me, at least that's the first time we have a big topping pattern. Um, yeah, I knew it. Mm, do we connect these highs there as well? I want to see the top here. How does that add in? Yeah, okay, if we are a bit tricky right there. Yeah, it has been an amazing run, really. Holy smokes. Again, not saying that it can't go higher, you know, very often the, if the moment, momentum is strong enough, head and shoulders can get valid, invalidated easily. If we were to do like this, you can maybe say that that is also when we break here. I mean, then that should also leave some momentum to the upside there. So still very early. Um, but let's see. How that plays out. But man, imagining being in one of these stocks here for, for this long. That's just crazy. Patience. Again, it's also difficult to sit through. What is it? The pullbacks. 60%. 60%. Yeah, that's, that's difficult to do. Okay. I think that is all. Again, thank you to... Where is it? There you are, Brandon Bros for the five dollar uh, super um, super chat. Thank you very much. Highly appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I hope you all had a great time. At least I did. And we did spend more than one hour. Uh, that's kind of the. I always plan for like a certain amount of time, and I always used like the double. Uh, but again, I love doing this stuff here, so it doesn't really matter at all. Guys, thank you very much for tuning back in, and. Um, yeah, any final words? I have no idea. Again, streaming is funny, it's, di it's different. Um, yeah, guys, 